The following video has been Fat Boy approved. These are the shill free opinions of Fat Boy. Every product reviewed is bought and paid for by Fat Boy. Yeah, yeah. What is going on, everybody? It is your boy. Welcome in the Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews, and today it's a beautiful day. It's a Monday. I hope you are. Had a great weekend. Hope you got all your shopping done. If you haven't, and you're still looking for some more decan action, today's the last day of the sale at FatboyFragrance.com. Go check it out, FatboyFragrance.com. And the customer's always right. We had a great weekend. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And if you are new to this channel, what are you waiting on, man? Come on in, baby. Hit the like and subscribe. I would love to have you as a, as a subscriber. Show the love, show the support, because if you show the love, baby, the love will always come back. Make sure you get the notifications, because I put in the work. Give you a lot of content all the time. Content, content, content. The only way to run a channel is to have enough content. I promise you a lot of content. Today I'm gonna give you how I rank my Chanel fragrances. Time to show some love to Chanel. This goes up to my boy, Rudy. Over at Time to Musk Up, make sure you check out his channel. I'll be leaving this link below. Let's get all up in this list, baby. And you know how we do it. No edits. No do-overs. One take. And one take and we get it right. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews starts now. baby we are back I own about seven Chanel's I have tried eight or nine of them I'm gonna tell you one right now I don't own and I do not like at all here's a good picture of it we'll get started with this one right here Chanel's boy do not care for it I never really liked it it just missed the mark with me it smells funky it smells weird that's what I'm gonna tell you right now you won't see in my collection that is Chanel's boy all right Coming in at number seven in my Chanel collection <coughs> is Chanel Allure Home Sport. This one to me is amazing. It's a phenomenal fragrance, without a doubt. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's, it's just a Chanel fragrance all the way through. No doubt that longevity, that just way to have this Great mass appealing smell to it. Also giving you niche quality and also very expensive, very exclusive. But it's just gonna fall there. I got a bunch of great Chanel's. This one is a great fragrance for the summer. Uh, I prefer a different version of this coming up I'll share with you. But it's just a, a good fragrance. It just doesn't pack that oomph that I like in my Chanel fragrances. This one just sits right there at number seven, my least favorite of the bunch. And that's not saying anything bad about my Chanel's. All right, coming up next is Chanel Lion, or Le Lion. There you go. Lion, to me, is a really odd fragrance. A fragrance I should not like, but I do. I don't get it why I do. A lot of people don't like this fragrance. I've never had one person give me a positive reaction to it, but I still like this fragrance a lot, a lot. I mean, I love this fragrance. It is just a weird fragrance and I shouldn't like it. it. Has this leathery kind of gruffy vibe to it. Some people say it smells like an old lady. I don't get that. It smells very masculine to me. And that's just me. I'm not 100% sure why, but it does. But Chanel's Lion is, to me, number six, just because it doesn't get any reactions. But if I was just basing this on performance, this thing is, I don't even, I don't think I have another fragrance in my collection that can beat this fragrance when it comes to performance. I would I'm go out on a limb and say, this is the strongest fragrance in my collection, hands down, Chanel's Lion. All right, up next. Gonna ruffle some feathers here. For sure gonna ruffle some feathers with this one. Chanel's 
Parfum, the gold one. Yep, this is probably the most popular one of the Blue de Chanel line. To me, it is nice. Probably one of the better ones. It's a more refined Blue de Chanel. It's a more grown up Blue de Chanel. It's your dad's Blue de Chanel. It's your middle aged kind of guy's Blue de Chanel. It's a beautiful fragrance. Don't get me wrong, the whole Blue de Chanel is beautiful. It just doesn't beat the other two, in my opinion. It just is missing something that the other two have that I really like. And it's just, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong, all these are great. But where I rank it at number five, it's my fifth favorite out of the seven. And that is Blue Chanel Parfum. There we go. All right, coming in next. Blue de Chanel, the OG, baby. The straight OG. No doubt, the one that started all, the one that took that barbershop style fragrance and said, we're gonna flip it on its head and make this the new masculine fragrance that men are gonna wear. Oh, just, you know, uh, often duplicated, never perfected. This thing is amazing. It still gets me compliments. It still smells freaking great. It's an easy pickup to put on. If you do not have Blue de Chanel in your collection, what's wrong with you? This is <laughs> this is a must for everybody's collection. You gotta have this. You know, if you're talking about Venice, check. Um, Angel Share, check. Blue de Chanel, check. Elysium, check. Those have to be in your collection no matter what. Tiger, check. Worth the money, worth the hype always will be in my collection. A phenomenal fragrance. All right. Next up, we have, I think we got four left. Or three left. I had six or seven. All right, so top three for me go like this. Platinum Eagle S, number three. Shout out to my boy Kevin. Always talks about this, Platinum Eagle S. It's just old school, phenomenal, Phenomenal uh, Chanel here. This is just 90s personified my era. It just smells so much like my time oh, And yet another one the second best performing fragrance in this bunch is Platinum Eagle West I mean this thing you got to scrub it off. It's an all-nighter I think this one doesn't get enough love for the club. This is a great club fragrance in my opinion I think if you're looking for something look Old school and unique. Go to Platinum Eagle West, and I guarantee you people will tell you. It's kind of a nice little conversation piece. What are you wearing? I'm wearing Platinum Eagle West from Chanel. You're going, people, those non fragrance enthusiasts don't know a lot about it. They're going to be impressed. A great fragrance, very affordable Chanel, in my opinion. Platinum Eagle West for its price, for its performance, and for the fact it's just so nostalgic. I love it. All right, number three. Number two. No doubt, Chanel La Homme Sport Extreme. I mean, I have never gotten more compliments from any other Chanel, period. It's, it's just has that subtle hint of mint and freshness and, 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 and citrus vibe that just cannot be duplicated by any other fragrance. This is all time great. This is all time must have. If you don't have this, you have to have it. You want, oh, I get this question sometimes. What can I get that ladies like? Bam! What can I attract ladies with? Bam! <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. You want to impress a lady, and I'm not saying it's going to work for everybody, but you got a damn good chance with this one. Chanel's Allure Home Sport O Extreme is a lady magnet when it comes to getting compliments, getting noticed, <clears throat> and it's up to you to get lucky because this will not give you any of that help But it will definitely make the mood better Chanel Alohan Poke Stream and number one for me my first true love in Chanel <sighs> Chanel EDP I like this more than any of the other ones It just has that beautiful subtleness 
Oh, I think the cap got stuck. There it is. The cap got stuck in the uh, in the magnetic cap part. And it has the beautiful blue de Chanel vibe. It doesn't go too far away from the original, but it adds this powdery quality that I absolutely love. It's a fresh out the shower vibe. It is the most confident fragrance in my collection. Although Tiger's my signature scent. This was my original signature scent for a long time. <laughs> this one right here I wore as much as I wore Tiger. This one means the most to me. It gives me confidence when I would go to work for job, for job interviews, I would always wear this. It just was easy to wear. It made me feel confident. It got reactions and it lasted a really good time. I love wearing this on dates with my wife. She loves this fragrance too. So this is my number one for me. Chanel EDP, get it. Instant must have in your collection. That's it, those are my Chanel's. Nothing really fancy. I'm sure my boy Rudy's got a bunch of other ones that he can talk about. Go over to Time the Musk Up and check him out. He's got some great videos on some Chanel fragrances. All right, that's all the time I got. I hope you have a wonderful Monday. Remember the sale ends at midnight at FatboyFragrance.com where the customer's always right. Y'all stay safe, y'all stay well, fly eagles fly, and if you smell good, like this room smells right now, and you feel good, like I feel right now, baby, then it's gonna be all good. Fat Boy Frigates Reviews is out.